Hey guys, Becca here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have part six of the Ultimate Decades Challenge and we are starting off this episode in a new household. So this is obviously Isabella. Isabella has got herself a man. This is her husband. Oh my gosh, I've forgotten his name. <laughs> no, Alaric. Alaric. His name's Alaric. Edwards, I think. Yeah. Okay. So this is Alaric Edwards. I think that he is very, very nice on the eye for sure. I think they look very cute together. What do you guys think? So, it was so close between whether we married Isabella with William or creating new families, but there was just slightly more in favour of creating new families to keep, like, I don't know, more options open to have, you know, different variations in genes, that kind of thing. So, I created two new families. Alaric is from one of them. Um, yeah, so they now live in this place in Willow Creek. Excuse the fact that it's not completely medieval. Um, it was what came with the... Um, what do I want to say? It came with the... It's part of the world. That, <laughs> my gosh. Okay, stop posing now. Oh, that's adorable. Stop it. Okay, you're so cute. But yeah, guys, come on. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that's enough now. So anyway... <laughs> I'm going to get them trying for a pregnancy, and then I'm going to hop into... Well, I might actually invite round. So, Alaric, he's got two sisters, Ava and Amelia, and they still live with their dad. Oh, really? We got this all this way, and then... Okay, no, we are working now. Okay, awesome. Um, So, Alaric has two sisters that live with their dad still. I will... Get them round just so I can show you the the sisters because oh my gosh they're beautiful I love them, they're they're um twins. Hello, ladies, are you okay? And then obviously we have little Cassie out here as well. I don't know why he's outside. Um yeah, so I'll inv I'll invite them over and then I'm going to just oh why are we trying for a baby? Alaric doesn't want a child right now and act and actively trying for a baby is simply a stressful oh a stressful stop it process in that circumstance i don't know either but bud um i don't know why you're doing that then <laughs> i don't know anyway let me just quickly like just i'm gonna call them over but don't mind me what's their dad called arthur okay guys this absolute beauty is amelia edwards look how sweet she is oh my gosh i love her I just think that she's so precious, so beautiful. And then her sister, Ava, also beautiful. Honestly, I'm obsessed with them. Even pulling this face, she is just absolutely gorgeous. I love her. I love her. Um, yeah, so they're his sisters. I thought it might be handy, you know, having a couple more female sims in, in the world, you know, just in case. Um, because obviously now Isabella is off the market because we've married her off it means that if anything did happen to joan we we would kind of be screwed but now we've got some options in the form of two beautiful sisters but yeah i'm obsessed with them i think that they are absolutely gorgeous so i hope you like them and i hope you like alaric they've tried for a baby once i'm just gonna go into the other household now and show you William's new wife and then get them trying for a baby and then we'll do the roles to see how many attempts we can have for trying for a baby for each of these families. Okay guys and this is William's new wife Matilda Blackwater. I think that she is beautiful. I do need to change her last name to Beaumont. Um, so she has moved in with William. They are now married and I'm just gonna get them coming up here and trying for a pregnancy. What are you doing bud? Benedict's so cute. <laughs> perfect so they're trying for a baby the others have tried for a baby so they've all had one attempt you're just boogieing bud look at this kid just out here boogieing away not care in the world oh he's off he's off where are you going splashing he's going to splash in the wash tub do you want to do the washing while you're at it actually you know that would help us out um right okay awesome so just gonna wait till they've finished Perfect. Okay, so that's that's done. So now let's quickly go ahead and see how many times we can do uh, try for a baby and then we are going to go into our main household. Okay, so here we need to roll a d12 for number of baby attempts. 
So let's do this for um, Williams first. Four. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I need to quickly say this. William. Okay, so they have four chances. So they've had one chance. So they get three more chances to try for a baby. And now we'll do it for um, Isabella. They get eight chances. Okay, awesome. Okay, guys. So basically, I've just changed this one slightly. So where it said partners, I've changed it to um, total number of attempts allowed. So this is a way for me to track how many total like times they're allowed to have and then how many baby tries they've actually had. So I'm going to put one in both of these so we know that we've got three left for William and Matilda and then seven left for Isabella and Alaric. So every time we load into the, the game, I will go and I'll get them trying for a baby and then making sure I'm updating this document um, in line with that. Okie dokie, we are back in the mad household. So Cole's sleeping... Do we go wild and get them trying for a baby again? <laughs> I like we might as well. I feel like we're on a roll with trying for a baby. So come on, let's let's have another go at it. Let's go, let's go. Also, I forgot to say that with Matilda, she so I created a family for her as well. So she's got her mother and father still, and then she's got a child brother. Um, I think his name's Richard, and I think the dad's name's Richard too. I think. Agnes, what are you doing? You're just chilling. Are you going to eat? Of course you are. Literally, he is a, he is a, a foodie. This kid just always eats. Oh, but no, he's going to get distracted now and meet his new sibling. No rest is there. No, there's no turnaround with that one. Or oh, the very fast turnaround with that one. It was like, yep, okay, right, you're giving birth. Let's go again. Let's go again. Oh, also... Oh, yes, yeah, she should get this. Um, what was interesting is Isabella, she had a little want here, and it was to flirt with Henry. So Isabella is Joan's sister. I was like, Isabella? Scandalous. So scandalous. Why are all the babies coming upstairs? No protection is used. You're really angry. You have a rage at someone, and I don't know who. Are you happy to meet your new sibling? I don't know. Right, sing a song. I don't know what's going on with you. Can you clean up? Everyone's pretty well fed. Oh my gosh, we've got to do another death roll tomorrow, haven't we? we got food there anyway. Can you come and replace the water? Can you unload and put away? And then... Do laundry, wash in wash tub. But I think we've got some stuff in the fridge that's all stinky. Clean out spoiled food. Right, bud, do you want to just go to sleep for a little bit because you're tired? Why are you picking him up? Just put him down. What are you doing? Right. None of that now because you've got a baby that's crying. Rock. probably should send you to the toilet actually right oh my gosh what are you doing stop picking up all the children just put put her down put her down what is he doing henry come on you have one job henry why is it not classifying that she just tried for a baby oh my gosh henry right that's it henry get out get out Put the baby down. Go to the toilet. Seriously. There's just no need for it, is there? Right, you go to sleep. Oh my gosh, you're exhausted. You go to sleep. Right, we've got a crying baby up here. And then come and hang this on with a clothesline, bud. Yeah? You do something helpful. Don't just get in our way, picking up all the children. Right, Cole, buddy. Who magically changes when we get him out of the crib. <laughs> And then, Hunt, as you're in a pretty good mood, why don't you just resume this painting? I don't think this is very time appropriate. <laughs> What's going on there? Right, why are you up? Go back to sleep. No one asked you to get up, Thomas. Oh my gosh. Right, she's painting though, so you can make yourself useful, actually. Yeah. Oh, is he actually going to do something helpful? Oh wow, he's actually done something that is helping us out. Henry, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you right now. <laughs> Right, hon, you should probably go to sleep because of no doubt you'll need to be getting up soon to to feed Cole. Okay, Han is up. She's having some mouldy pottage. Thomas is so stinky again. Um, I don't know how. This this kid. 
Come and grab a serving. Oh, now you're up, bud. Just instead, can you come and just eat this? Because we'll have to deal with Cole. Oh my gosh, how is this child filthy again? I can't, he's so filthy. It upsets me, he's that filthy. Oh, it's too uncomfortable, great. Can you still clean? Okay, good. Scatter feed, collect eggs, feed the cow, pet the cow, milk the cow, clean the shed. I need you to give Thomas a bath because, yeah, this child. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at the just stankiness everywhere. Oh, it's disgusting. It's revolting. <gasps> mm, I cancelled all of my things. Right. Right. <laughs> Listen here, Sims. We're not playing games today, okay? We are not playing games. Milk. Right, can we wash wash him? Please, please. Please can we wash him? It's really stressing me out how dirty he is. How many eggs did we get? Ooh, four eggs and two hatchable. Nice. Let's have a little look, son. Son? <laughs> what? <laughs> when have I ever... <laughs> When have I ever called a sim son? And it's not even the son, it's Henry. <laughs> right, you had enough, did you, Henry? Can you feed the cow? Milk the cow? Hug the cow, please. Just, just do the stuff with the cow, please. Right, you're much better. How are you? You're hungry. Okay, no, this child is full on refusing to eat this moldy food. But do you know what? I don't think I can blame her. All you're getting is gruel though, hun, so I hope you're not too, you know, excited about your replacement. Right, hun. Grab a serving of gruel. And you throw that away. We need you to sweep the dust bunny up. Oh my... Right, Cheddar Jacks, just go away. Why is she picking him up? Why? What is her obsession right now with picking all of the children up? Just put, put him down. And you've glitched out, right? Yeah, so you're not putting that in the bin, aren't you? Great. Right, just take a bath. Use the toilet. Get out of my face. Just get out of my face. Just for a minute. Just put the child down. What are you doing? Are right. You it's bomb? not Monday, so you can jog right on, Mr. Tax Collector. Go away. Oh. Right. Thomas, I know for a fact you just used your diaper. Why won't it let me change? It does need to be changed. He just used it. He just used it. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, right. Guys, it's time. We need to do the death roll for Cole. Oh gosh, I'm not looking forward to this. Um, infant. So we don't want a 12, a 16, or an 18. A 6 is fine, right? 12, 16, 18. Oh, okay, okay guys, okay, right. Whew. Cole has made it to Friday. Oh, we're nearly at the end of 1304. This is madness. So, Cole is an infant. Breathe, breathe, breathe. She's gonna get Hunter breastfeed him before we age him up. See, before we age him up, sorry, let me just check. Thomas, how long? Because I feel like you've been a toddler for years, buddy. It's been 10 days. So he's got, okay, so he's got what? Eight days to go. Okay, guys, we're actually like getting there. <laughs> we're getting there with the toddler stage. <laughs> Happy birthday, little Cole. Oh, another little blondie. And he is cautious. <laughs> oh, how sweet. Oh, he's got blue eyes. Okay, so he's the first one to have both of the features from his mum, which is blonde hair and blue eyes. Oh, he looks so cute. Look at this little bean. <gasps> okay, this is without a makeover, but look how cute he looks. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, Cole, you are precious. Okay, guys, here is little Cole after he's had a little makeover. Oh, look how sweet he is. So giving him these little freckles and he's got his mum's eyes. Oh, so cute. And then I've just changed the, uh, well, the upstairs to put the infant crib here instead of it being the bassinet. Um, I didn't check, but I'm, I don't know if potty training was a thing, but I want it to be, okay? Because... <laughs> My kids are just smelly all the time. So, potty train, Agnes. Right, Cole's okay for now, which means that we can bath Agnes and then we're gonna quickly potty train Thomas. You won't need a bath, but you're gonna need to get your fun up. So you can play. Hun, afterwards, you are going to need to have a bath and go to the toilet. 
We got the cow out. Stop trying to go to bed. He's trying to escape, but it's like, you got jobs to do. Clean the cow. Right, Cole's woken up. He's angry. Awake and angry. Cole is awake and in an angry mood. Okay. Okay, great, great, great. Throw this away, and then Hun can get some food before she goes to sleep. And then that will be Friday done, so we can tick that off of our little checklist. And I think that marks the start of 13.05, is it? We're five years in, guys. Oh my gosh, look. So, started pregnancy for Ava Edwards with Nigel Like. So she's having a baby. Her dad's having a baby. They're both having babies out of wedlock. You're having a baby with a werewolf. Oh, oh, he's koala bearing. He's clinging on for dear life. Can we put the baby down? Okay, let's let's reset. Right, quickly try for a pregnancy, guys. Right, then, hun, can you come and use the toilet? Bud, let's get you doing your chores. So, water all, sell all, and then we'll get him dealing with the animals as well. I'm just getting Thomas to come and chat to Agnes to get his social up a little bit. Why do they look worse now that they've been watered? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, he can be neat. Oh, wow, we max the cooking skill. I'm just going to get Agnes coming out here and using the potty herself. And then I've got Thomas up to come and eat. Henry, you are exhausted, so you need to come and sleep as well. Oh, it's not even done. It's still used. Right, I'm fine. You can just sit and fester in its filth then. If it's not even cleaned. Look at these two just waddling around. Right, up to bed you go. Okay, we are just doing some chores. And look who has come round. It is Isabella and she is pregnant. Oh, and it's changed her name to Edwards. Perfect. Right, so we need to invite her in. And we need to, like, chat to her right away. I don't think Joan is pregnant this time. Um, So we'll have them trying for a baby again. Let's ask about her pregnancy. So exciting. Right, Henry, are you going to bed? Yep. Yeah. You need to go to bed, but you're taking yourself up, so that's fine. I'm in my second trimester, and I'm happy that I'm going to have a child pregnancy as it's good days and bad days, but overall, it's a beautiful experience. Oh, I can't believe Isabella is pregnant. Oh, this is so exciting. And then let's have a deep personal conversation. Whilst Thomas is just standing here like, yep, I know what's going on. Oh, hun, no, they're dirty, aren't they? I appreciate the fact that you're trying to help out, but yeah, they're, they're all really dirty. Let's say I got, um... I got bees. Thank you for the suggestion. So I'm going to see if we can get different honey types now from having the wild bee box. I want them to try for a baby as well. We need to see if um, Matilda's pregnant. Okay, hang on clothesline. It's, it's clean, finally. And then we want to... Oh, you're too sad. So you'll have to initiate. Try for pregnancy, please. Oh my gosh, they've just crossed paths. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> oh, and you're up now. You're fine. Okay, quickly, before you pass out, guys. Okay. Both of you go to sleep now. Han, you might as well come and sweep because, yeah, it's... I can't deal with the dirtiness. I just can't. I know she's tired, but I'm like, just, just clean. Okay, will Agnes make it to bed before she passes out? Two hours. She should do, surely. I'm just going to get Henry up to go to the toilet and then I want to just see if we can collect some honey. All the children are fine so we can just leave them to sleep. Okay, I'm going to attempt to bond with the bees again. And then I want to collect honey. Okay, Henry is starting to get tired. I did want him to do the honey. The honey press because I think it's saying we've got raw honey now. And then what I want to do is pop over to the other household to see if... Um, Matilda is pregnant. Can we please press raw honey? Having fun, Henry? Oh, and then because I've got one of them, I can make... It's cheaper. Oh, awesome. Why don't we head over to Williams? How typical. I don't even think Matilda's here. What I want to do, though, is get these two introduced. Right, let's just get them chatting a little bit. I tried to, like, cheat her over, like, teleport, but she, uh... <laughs> Doesn't seem to exist on the world sims, so I'm not too sure what's going on there. Han is just off harvesting raspberries. Is this my child running? Why, boy, where are you going to? What is happening? He's literally on the run. Look at him bobbling along. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, how typical. So we won't be able to check because I don't know where she is. 
And then I guess we'll have to just wait till the next episode to find out whether or not Elizabeth is pregnant. Not Elizabeth. Oh gosh, rest in peace, Elizabeth. Matilda. Oh. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode right here. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you have, please leave it a like. And if you haven't already subscribed, it would be amazing if you could subscribe. Um, I'm really enjoying this series so far. I feel like this one, my patience has been tested the most. <laughs> but in the next one, we'll find out whether Matilda is pregnant, whether Joan is pregnant. And I'm assuming that Isabella will have her baby as well. So potentially lots of birthing um, and hopefully lots of surviving of death rolls fingers crossed maybe even actually one second let's just see how many what has it been now 13 oh my gosh we got five more days until we'll be able to potentially age up thomas so that should be in the next episode as well so we might have a child guys that's so exciting anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys